There are questions that are pure science fiction at first. Years later they are still considered unusual. Then they become normal questions and finally they gain existential urgency. The question, what time is it on the moon, is an excellent example. We must know the time on the moon. In this video you will find out why. On Earth we take time for granted. We have standardized time zones and a well-defined global timekeeping system based on Earth's rotation and our orbit around the Sun. But the Moon is a different story. One day on the Moon is 29.5 Earth days long. This means the time it takes for the Moon to complete one full rotation is equivalent to almost an entire month here on Earth. So how do we measure time in such a different environment? Unlike Earth, where time is based on the 24-hour day, trying to apply this same system to the Moon would lead to confusion. Right now, when missions land on the Moon, they typically operate using time zones from Earth. Often they use UTC, Coordinated Universal Time, the same standard that regulates time worldwide. However, this approach becomes problematic as we consider long-term missions, lunar colonies and even the possibility of multiple nations and companies working together on the Moon. The question of lunar timekeeping is not just a theoretical one. It has very real practical implications. As we plan to return humans to the moon through NASA's Artemis program and other international efforts and potentially establish permanent bases there, having a reliable time system becomes crucial for several reasons. Missions on the moon, especially long duration missions, will require precise coordination. Think about the International Space Station ISS as a reference point. The ISS orbits Earth and every mission and communication is synchronized using UTC. But the moon presents a new challenge. Lunar missions may operate in different locations from different space agencies with different goals. Without a standard time, it would be difficult to coordinate activities, schedule supply shipments or even manage scientific experiments. Even a slight mismatch in time could lead to communication delays or worse, operational failure. Timekeeping is also a matter of safety. On the Moon, environmental conditions are harsh. The surface is exposed to extreme temperature fluctuations, depending on whether it is in sunlight or darkness. Moon days and nights last about two weeks each, with daytime temperatures reaching 127 degrees Celsius and nighttime temperatures plummeting to minus 173 degrees Celsius. Lunar missions rely on carefully timed activities to ensure that astronauts are not exposed to these extreme conditions longer than necessary. For example, if a lunar mission needs to enter a region just before the long lunar night begins, but lacks precise timing, astronauts could be caught in dangerous conditions. Having a standard time allows teams on Earth and the Moon to synchronize environmental data with the mission planning, ensuring survival and safety. Scientists conducting experiments on the Moon will need to track time accurately for data collection. When monitoring phenomena such as radiation levels or cosmic particle interactions, or when conducting geological surveys, timekeeping will be crucial to ensuring that data are comparable and replicable. Now that we understand why lunar timekeeping is important, let's address the challenges of creating a lunar time system. Time on the Moon actually runs slightly faster than time on Earth because the Moon has weaker gravity. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, the weaker the gravitational pull, the faster time flows. While the difference is minimal, about 56 microseconds per day, it becomes significant when dealing with precise scientific instruments or long-term missions. Another consideration is that, unlike Earth, the Moon doesn't have a natural equator-based time zone system. There is no east or west to use as a reference point for different time zones. If we establish multiple bases or research stations on the Moon in different regions, how do we decide what time is it in each place? Should the poles, where many future missions are planned due to the presence of ice water, have their own time zones? These are questions that space agencies and engineers are grappling with right now. 
Efforts are already underway to solve the lunar time problem. One potential approach is to create a new lunar standard time, independent of time zones on Earth but synchronized with UTC for coordination between Earth and lunar operations. Another approach is to use atomic clocks to keep time on the Moon. These incredibly precise devices would allow for accurate timekeeping on the lunar surface, but they would need to be adapted to handle the harsh conditions of space. Some have even suggested establishing a lunar coordinated time, LCT, similar to UTC on Earth, but fine-tuned for the Moon's specific conditions. This system would synchronize with Earth time, but would account for the Moon's different rotation, period and gravitational effects. The importance of establishing a time system for the Moon also extends beyond lunar exploration. As humans look to expand to other planets like Mars, timekeeping in space will become a universal challenge. Mars, for instance, has a day slightly longer than Earth's, about 24.6 hours. This means we will eventually need a Martian time system as well. Solving the timekeeping issue on the Moon could serve as a model for future planetary exploration. In conclusion, the question what time is it on the Moon is not trivial. It's a critical issue that affects mission planning, scientific research, astronaut safety and international cooperation. As space exploration accelerates and we aim for a permanent presence on the Moon and beyond, establishing a reliable and accurate lunar timekeeping system is essential. It's a step toward the big goal of making space a place where humans can live, work and explore for generations to come.